outstanding and hardworking station commander, Police Major Francis Renz Altalusi, started his week with a tight schedule. He joined a video conference regarding launching a PNP campaign plan to ball barrel an anti-illegal drugs operation through reinforcement and education. He held a weekly staff conference on weekly accomplishment, backtracking of Seras and Erugs, and issues and concerns of their respective offices. He attended a weekly oversight committee superheaded by Police Colonel Roderick Dimino, who I see City Director held at Cebu City Police Office Conference Room. During the exit call of Regional Police Holding Assistance Service or RPHAS, Police Major Francis Renz El Talusi gave his heartfelt gratitude of their service at Mabolo Police Station and reminded them to do their duty with honesty, integrity, and dedication. He attended the launching and cascading of Kasimbayanan, Kapulisan Simbahan at Pamayanan ng Panginoon, a joint effort of police, church, and community towards a peaceful and progressive community held at Cebu City Police Office. Our brilliant and vigorous deputies, Police Lieutenant Arturo Marfil III and Police Lieutenant Pablito Saldo, conducted daily accounting of personnel and Police Information Continuing Education or PICE. They reminded them to do not engage in any illegal gamblings and other forms of illegal activities. In recognition of our holistic effort in fighting against illegal drugs, Police Staff Sergeant Rimundo Pial attended the graduation of Community-Based Drug Rehabilitation Program or CBDRP at Barangay Busay, Cebu City. Mabolo PNP personnel together with the NUP are actively participated in the Squad Weekly Interactive Meeting or SWIM as part of the PNP Revitalized Internal Cleansing Program. Our very enthusiastic Chief of City Affairs Development Unit, Police Staff Sergeant Rimundo Pial, conducted drug symposium at Barangay Hipodromo, Cebu City. This activity aims to elevate the awareness of our current situation of illegal drugs in our country, respected cities, municipalities, and barangays. It helped them to be educated the negative effects on their health, family, people around them, and society on abusive using of illegal drugs. Police Staff Sergeant Wilson Montalban and Patrol Woman Marjorie Tubalia conducted house visitation to drug personalities of Barangay Kasambagan, Cebu City and reminded them to participate for the upcoming batch of community-based drug rehabilitation program. Police Staff Sergeant Fernan Umolon, Supply PNCO of Police Station 4, together with a team from Regional Engineering Unit 7, conducted visitation to the proposed establishment of additional police station at Barangay Malubog, Cebu City. Police Staff Sergeant Aldrin Pilayo assisted in the distribution of financial assistance to those affected by Typhoon Udet held at Barangay Bunbun, Cebu City. In relation to Comelec Ganban, our active deputies, Police Lieutenant Arturo Marfil III and Police Lieutenant Pablito Salto, conducted day and night simultaneous checkpoint to ensure to have a safe, peaceful national and local election 2022. With the continuing effort of Police Major Francis Renz Altalusi, Chief Commander of Police Station 4, and Police Executive Master Sergeant Louis Tangol, warrant server, which resulted in the arrest of the most wanted person, number 5 in Station Level, Ralph J. Arco, 24 years old, a resident of Sitio Paradise Dos, Barangay Kasambagan, Cebu City, with 10 counts of rape. He was arrested at Barangay Pahanukoy, Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, by virtue of warrant of arrest with no bail recommended. Police Staff Sergeant Aldrin Pilayo conducted monthly Barangay Anti-Drug Abuse Meeting at Barangay Pungol, Sibugay, Cebu City. Mm -hmm.